Hey friends, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here today for creative time or DIY time. What are we calling it? Creative time? I got my sidekick Jordan here. Say hi. He's freezing to death because it's a little chilly today. No, it's because I drank a lot of Coke. He drank a lot of soda today. Um, so, we're, so we have the space heater going in the garage. We're out here at our work table and we are going to attempt to make a butterfly habitat and show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, we would love to be able to find a monarch caterpillar, right? Yeah, but I saw uh, a butterfly. I know we that. saw one today, but what we have an abundance of in our yard, do you have one that you can show our friend? Yes, ma'am. He's gonna go get one, is tent caterpillars. And tent caterpillars do not make butterflies, they make moths, but they're still really cool. So we had a ton of these in our yard and we thought it would be fun to um, make a habitat and put some in here and kind of study their life cycle. So that's what we're gonna do. Jordan's gonna show you one of the tent um, caterpillars. This, this is a young one because- Okay, come over here. Can you show our friends? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to try not to hurt Be gentle. Just kind of, can you put it on your finger? Oh, yeah. And get it in there. Get it in Oop. there. <laughs> no, he's hanging on. Okay, look. There's the screen. Just hold it up. There you go. Here is a tent caterpillar. Tent caterpillar. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's a young one. Oh. All right, so let's work on our habitat. Go put him over there out of the way so he doesn't get smushed by any equipment. Yeah. Chance. Oh, he's grip he was gripping. He's already on grabbing on to that. Huh? <laughs> so what we're going to use today to build our butterfly or moth habitat is a good old-fashioned cardboard box. Uh, I've got two different types of scissors because I didn't know what I would need. We've got duct tape, handy dandy duct tape, and we have, you need some type of netting. We happen to have some tool that came out of my art and craft project. And since our box is small, this is probably about six inches wide, five to six, in, five inches, six inches wide. So we're not gonna cut a very big opening and uh, we'll make it work. So I'll show you what to do with that. I might need a pocket knife too. Hold on while I grab that. And somewhere. Well, the bottom of the, the barrel. Got a pocket knife too. You might need one of those. Alright, so we're gonna start by cutting off the short flaps of our box because when you close it, you want it to have just this the two long ones to be flat. You don't want the short ones under there because they could cause a space that your um, butterfly or moth might get in and they might get smushed. So you don't want that. I'm going to use these um, kitchen scissors is what I have here. And I'm going to cut off. Jordan, will you come hold this down? Just hold that, press it down like that. So Nana can cut this short piece. So we're cutting off the short flaps. I hope you can raise a tent caterpillar. Well, that's the goal. We're going to discard that. And our buddy's just hanging on so I hold, always, this, hold this one down for So it can always uh, pick them back up. It's probably because it's four or five right now. Don't worry about it. Okay. They eat apples, by the way. Yes, they eat apples. Once we're done, we'll tell you what all we're going to put in here. But they will eat fruit and leaves, different things. Okay, so now that that part is done, we are going to make a little door on the side. So I'm going to use my pocket knife to start that. Hello, Miss Rhonda. It does not have to be straight or perfect or anything like that. And you're just going to make three cuts. Oh my gosh, I can see a dead wasp. I might have to do this. 
Did you know that wasps eat caterpillars? I didn't know that. So uh, we better keep an eye on our buddy there because if a wasp comes, it might eat him. Be careful. I think I'm going to use the scissors for the rest of the way so I don't injure myself. <laughs> Got to be careful. If there's any kiddos watching, don't do this without an adult. Never use scissors or a knife without an adult. Unless it's, unless if it's the scissors that you brought from school. Yeah, unless it's your school safety scissors. So all I want to do is make a little door like that. So just three cuts. And all that's going to do, we're going to tape it shut. And we just want it big enough for us to be able to reach inside the box and either get whatever out or put whatever in to feed your um, caterpillars. We're probably going to, so, like, we're probably going to, like, uh, use an apple cutter. Or will they just eat it whole? I think if you just cut the apple in half and put it in there, they'll figure out the rest, but I don't think anybody oh, really slices their apples in the wild. Okay, now there's an adult one right here on the uh, curtain, so should we get the young one or the old one? Well, we're going to figure that out in a minute. We can't do anything until we finish their little habitat. Now, what? Right. you want me to go and find a few... Uh, what else did we learn about caterpillars while... Wow. I'm just going to kind of use a pencil. Come on, do you want me to go uh, gather the habitat material? You so can go get the habitat material. Yes, you might need a cup. What do we What do we need? A couple sticks. Uh-huh. Some leaves. Uh-huh. And a little bit of dirt. Okay. Okay. I need that. All right, Jordan's going to go scavenge for the habitat materials. We're going to put inside the box, once we're done, with our little Wait, caterpillars, please. some leaves, preferably from that plant you saw the, the caterpillar on yesterday. Oh, I just put the caterpillar on the plant. Well, we might have to go look at the tree in the back. You want to get the leaves, preferably well, from... Okay, bub. Preferably from the host plant, because that means that's what the the caterpillars are going to eat. Um, you want a little bit of dirt we're going to put in here, and like a few sticks. And then we're also going to stick in there some bunched up paper towels, because the um, tent caterpillars like to burrow, and they'll get in that and do their chrysalis thing. So... Um, right now, I just laid my tool down, and I'm just going to kind of make some marks where I'm going to cut. I'm going to go probably Sticks. about half an inch. I'm, in other words, I'm going to cut my whole half inch inset so I can tape the tool down on the inside. Hello, Miss. And I'll show you that in a second. Hello, Miss Daniel. Oh, I can't read. Com Sorry, the sun is glaring, so I can't read the comments. Hey, Bub, put these um, okay. ingredients off to the side so Nana doesn't knock them over. So I just made some marks where I'm going to start cutting. Um, and we'll see what happens. I'm just going to start it and then I'm starting it with the knife and then I'm going to use my scissors for the rest. I don't trust myself with the pocket knife. All right. Well, at least this TV is good to use now. It is? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll put that to the side for now, okay? Okay. Now all we need is leaves. Um, we did some research on tent caterpillars because we had to kind of identify what they wore yesterday. And I want to say it's going to take um, about four to six weeks for them to turn into moths from caterpillar to... You did. What's oh, that? Now we know which plant to put 
tips. You can order butterfly kits online. Yeah, but they were way too expensive. Some of them, there are some reasonable ones uh, where you get the net cage. But there also were some expensive ones. Anyway, we had this stuff, so that's why we're doing this, because we like to do stuff for free or less, right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. Hello, so. Miss Pam. Who is that, Miss Pam? Hey, Miss Pam. This would be fun to do with your grand boys. Um, you could do this virtually. Kind of have to help it. A little bit here on this here. because that's what I had, but if you have like a black, the, you know, black screen, you can use that, any type of netting, just to allow them to breathe and whatnot. It looks like he's enjoying his new home. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, the caterpillar? Yeah, I think I accidentally stepped on the other one. Uh um, but luckily I found a, another adult one, so his metamorphosis is probably going to come quicker. <laughs> you know what? You are probably right, bud. Oh, no. Don't fall. Don't fall. You know what? It's, right. best, it's probably best for me to keep him in, in my hand. I think you might be right. Yes. All right, I got to pull my sleeves up. It keeps catching the netting. Come on, little buddy. It's, it's safe. The, the, why do you hesitate? All right, so I've got the netting laid in there over my opening. Yeah. Hold on, I remember one more thing that I know about uh, tent and pillars. You do? I know how they hang. Oh, how do they hang? Why don't you tell our friends? They that have uh, these. They have these. Uh, these two um pincers on their rear, and uh. They open and close when they're on leaves, so that's how they hang to create their chrysalis. Oh, well that's kind of cool. I told you that yesterday. Well, Nana has a. This is a very adventurous little one. Okay. So I'm just taping around the edge there. Oh, He's just crawling everywhere, isn't he, Jordan? Yeah. He's on the back of my hand now. Here, why don't you come on this side so our friends can see that? Oh, while yeah. I'm working on this movie. Yes. Of course. You can see him right there. Trim it up a little bit. Oh, he hesitated. I mean, are if I gonna, are we gonna name our caterpillar? Cat. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> That's original. Cat. <laughs> How about Stan? How about Junior? guys are just crawling all over the place. He's very uh, curious. He's like, what type of species is this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's crawling down my arm right now. Oh, you're braver than me. I don't mind caterpillars, but I don't want to hold them. I would hold a butterfly. Yeah, ow, is it biting me right now? What's it doing? <laughs> I think they, is, I think it's trying to bite me. It's checking you out. 
I can, I can feel something that's definitely uh, itching a bit. Oh, it must be his legs. Now, you know how it feels when, like, uh, something's, like, uh, have you ever hold a bug? Not by choice. <laughs> well, have you ever, uh... Oh, uh, Miss Danielle says we should name the caterpillar Henry. Whatever you say. Harry! Harry! Harry? We could have a Harry and a Henry. Or we could do Harry and Ron. <gasps> I know, I know. His first name can be Harry, and his last name can be Henry. <laughs> that would make sense. That's, that's awesome, bud. You know what? I'm going to take down. This guy is very curious. Bobby. I'm glad I found those bite marks on the leaves. I mean, I would have been there, like, for an hour trying to fight, trying to figure out what they eat. I know, right? And then once we run out of those leaves, we can give them a piece of apple. Tell you what, duct tape. I love duct tape. Oh, 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 oh! It's one of those things. If you're deserted on a desert island, I would want make sure that I had duct tape in my survival kit. They, these things are very good acrobatics. They can like, they can like lift their head up while, uh, they can lift their head up off the. Ground? I know. They're pretty cool, aren't yeah. they? We are super excited about this Look project. At him. Look at him. He was like, yay! What are some of the other projects we've been working on this week that we're getting ready for? I think he likes me. <laughs> we got some seeds we're going to plant. Here, the should board. I put them on the board for a little bit? Huh? Should I put them on the board for a little bit? Well, yes. Okay, all I did for my little door was just put some duct tape right there so it I can it'll stay closed. And then you'll see oh, it's this actually, is our netting right here. He's actually staying on me. Cool. We um okay, little bit. so this is like our little screen. I cut the hole just a little bit, uh not quite as wide as my netting was. So my netting kind of overlapped on the inside probably by a quarter inch and then I just took some good old-fashioned duct tape and taped it down on the inside and I did not cut the short flaps oh, off the oh, bottom oh, just oh, for sturdiness so I went ahead and just duct taped them down so nothing could get the caterpillars oh, won't get buddy. under there and so oh buddy we're gonna go ahead and load it up. We're gonna come back after the video and we'll cut the other side and we're gonna do this same process on the other side so it'll have two windows in it. But what we're gonna put into Is our, our thing, do you wanna load it up? Or do you wanna to continue to hold Henry? Yeah, I'm gonna have to continue to hold Henry. Yeah, that's, yeah, cause I'm not doing that. <laughs> hey, what if we named him Harry Potter? That's what I said here. We got two, Harry and Ron. Okay, so Jordan found some leaves that evidently they've already been munching on. So we're gonna put those in here. Well, I hope it wasn't the butterfly ones. And he found a few random sticks. I wanted them to so be we're like- gonna kinda, Oh, this is kind of cool, Jordan, because it kind of, it's almost like a zoo habitat. The, the little guy, piece. the little guy so, was so slow and now he's going so fast. Like he got, he's it's, going crazy. We'll yeah, just he's gonna like, hang the leaf off of that one. That hole came in handy. So we're gonna throw these random leaves. And our puppy dog likes to dig. So I'm, Jordan found a clump of grass with dirt, which is perfect. I was like, we'll put that in the corner. I was like, finally we put Finn's digging to good use. I know, right? And are we gonna put them in? We have a paper oh. towel. We're gonna kind of oh. just bunch that up and yeah. put that in the corner too. They do defecate or something. They defecate. <laughs> I had to explain to Jordan what defecate was. Um, oh. Look how fast he's going right now. So tent worms or tent caterpillars do defecate. Do you want to tell our friends what that means? Dung. It means they poop. So even though you're putting all this stuff in there, that's what? one reason why we have the little door because you might need to like clean it out. Yeah. So put okay. that in there. Okay, do you want to put, is it Henry or Harry? Henry. 
Okay, do you want to put him, see if he'll hang out on the stick in there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he is crawling around his new home. Be, oh, he, I think he's actually mistaking he's this for going, the outside. He's going to be like, this is magic. He's going straight for the net. Oh, look. Can you see him, friends? He is, hold on, watch out. He's like, this is magic. I don't know if they could see him. He's crawling his little head up the net right there. Oh, we got some, we got. Already. How cool is he? He's just kind of hanging out. Well, so I'm, we are going to. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. There's our flap. We'll have to make sure we tape it. So there you go. There is a DIY butterfly or an case moth habitat. And we are going to be. Observing him. Every observing single... Henry. Checking him out. <gasps> this can be a new chore to feed. Uh, this can be a new chore. I would much like to do this. And there you have <laughs> it, folks. Week. What week are we on? Week four of quarantine, and Jordan is adding his own chores to the list. Hallelujah. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to enjoy so, this. All right. We're actually going to take Henry out momentarily and do the other side, but we just wanted to show you what the finished product looks like. I hope this inspires you to build your own butterfly habitat and study the life cycle of, um, did I say bird? Butterfly. No. Butterfly or moth. No. Yes, sir. And the best thing is we can protect them now because there's not, not going to be any red wasps. Yes, there will be no wasps in there. So we, in essence, saved Henry's life, right? Yeah. There you Except go. for all the other ones that are over there. I mean, but, like, they're all dead. <laughs> I know. We do have terrible red wasps. We have a problem with those every year. But anyway, get out there. Be creative. <laughs> and until we see you again, happy crafting. Bye, friends. We love you guys. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Arriba, dear Bye. <laughs> All right. Take care.